Unlearn Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for that nightlight. <clears throat> Is that Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2? I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed through the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Wow, I was listening to a preacher used uh, the transformation of a butterfly, a caterpillar to a butterfly today, and it really kind of impacted me because he said something I'd not thought about. And I thought about the transformation process as the caterpillar goes into the cocoon, and then, of course, it comes out this beautiful butterfly, and it's got to kind of push its way through the cocoon, and that uh, pushing and um, breaking through the cocoon in that uncomfortable transition stage is what gives the butterfly the strength to fly. He said something, though, that really struck me. He said... The, one of the things the caterpillar has to do is not only to learn new things, it has to unlearn some old things. It has to unlearn crawling so they can learn flying. You and I were born again into God's forever family, but there is a process of metamorphosis or transformation that's going on and will go on until the day that we die and graduate to glory. And a part of that transformation is not just becoming something, it's unbecoming something. It's not just learning something, it's unlearning a lot of wrong things that you have been taught. For example, uh, if you grew up uh, away from church apart from godly influence in your life, your whole world system was taught to you by somebody that was broken under the curse of sin, and they were giving you maybe the best that they knew to give, but still that was fundamentally broken. And so there's a part of you that's going to have to unlearn what you learned so that you can learn this new transformed life in Christ, which is radically different from the old life. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And there, dare I say, there's a process of becoming where, where we're unlearning these old things. And how do you do that? Here, it's by the Word of God. The Word of God is what transforms us. It, it helps us to shake the, the, the dust of the world system off of us, the, the dust of stinking thinking. It, it eradicates it us, uh, from us as we begin to meditate on the Word. And he, he finished up the little segment that he was doing by saying, if you don't unlearn Saul, you'll never become a Paul. If you don't unlearn a, your Saul, you'll never become a Paul. That resonated with me. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I, I repent of my old Saul ways, God. I know there are some habits and strategies and chaos that I've picked up and brought along with me in this new journey. And I pray, God, you'd forgive me. Lord, I pray that you'd wash me and make me whiter than snow. Uh, Lord, I pray that you'd make my crimson sin like wool. God, I pray that you would just move in our hearts and our lives and help us to come to you for that total transformation that you want to take place in our lives. It's not just that you want to save our souls. You want to transform us before we get to heaven. Help us, God, to be transformed to the degree that we're able. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.